Hello everybody, my name is Sterling Youngman, and I am going to show uh, you what I was able to create in 30 days with Unreal Engine 4, having never used it before. So, um, we're looking at a basically first person uh, game, but I can switch to third. And But uh, anyway, so I, I'm a, I work in film and TV, and I do some animation work. Uh, a friend of mine, I was developing a new animated series, and a friend of mine sent me a link to Unreal, and he said, you're welcome. And that was it. <laughs> so I opened it up, and I started playing around with it. And I, I was intrigued. I really liked it. And uh, a few days later, 10 days actually, I decided, I wonder what I could do in 30 days. I really applied myself. What can I pull off with this thing? So this is what I've done. And uh, so basically, it's the 10 days of doodling and then 20 days of grueling hard work. Um, my initial intention was to investigate Unreal as a possible real-time rendering system for my animations. And uh, I'll get to that at some point. But I want to learn sort of the back-end stuff and the mechanics behind it. And, uh, so anyway, I created this little game. and oh. It's more puzzle-oriented. It's a trap. And it hurts you. You can look at my health. In the upper left corner, it's gone down. Oh. It goes down. Oh. It goes down. And the blood splat becomes more opaque. It looks like a pigeon with hemorrhoids did its thing on me. Uh, but I can go through the fountain of health cure myself. Um, I did turn off my ability to die, and I also turned off the AI for these characters that are wandering around because I just didn't want to spend a lot of time in this demonstration having them chase me and my, having to defend myself. So the characters themselves I made in a program called Character Creator, which is part of Real Illusions iClone 6 suite, and uh, it works seamlessly with Unreal. I couldn't believe it, and it was a huge time saver. Uh, so we're going to explore into this tunnel, and unfortunately we've lost our torch. Turn it back on by going near that. I'll show you what happens. We go down here, and this stuff comes down. So light it up again. So, we need to get around that problem. So that's what this game is, more of problem solving, puzzles, and whatnot. So, we're going to go in here. Actually, before I do that, let me just do a couple things. For all you naysayers out there who think this looks terrible, this is not intended to be a AAA game. Um, you know, it's more of an exercise. And I did not spend time on nitpicky little details like uh, the UV mapping you can see here, the stretching, the textures. The environment was made in 3D Studio Max. And the funny thing about that is I spent about four days working on the environment in 3DS Max and uh, to subpar results. And then a friend of mine said, well, why don't you make it with a box? Start with a box. <laughs> Which I did, and then I made it about five hours. Anyway, so now we've woken this guy up, and uh, he's going to come chase us. We can't kill him because he's too badass. But he's also big and out of shape, and we move faster. So we're going to get ahead of him. And we're going to get into this other room. Now, if you hadn't played this before and you didn't know where you were going, and you explore, you're going to learn things as you go along. You're probably going to die a couple times. Because most people would have run, run straight. 
straight through this room like this guy's about to. And it hits him. I mean, you can't see it hit him really. Um, but that's the collision problem. Uh, I won't get into the details of it. It's easy fix. Anyway, he's dead. And we can pick up and search his body and we can get this thing here and we'll add it to the inventory. Okay. This thing with the boulder and chain was a real problem for me. It uses a physics system built into Unreal, which is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, my problem wasn't having the chain, the ball chain come down, it was having it go back up. So, uh, you hit that, it ra raises up, but uh, it used to have problems, it was just a, it was a mess, I won't get into it, it's too long to explain. But anyway, the solution came actually through uh, a lot of effort from a lot of different people. Ow. One of the things I couldn't have gotten as far as I did without the community of Unreal, which is very robust, and, and uh, there are a lot of people um, who are very helpful to newbies like myself. And then you have people like... Now, we can open this because we have that thing that we collected from the ogre. Um, I had a huge thanks to uh, Adam Davis, who uh, he works at Epic, and on his own he runs uh, usually twice a week uh, a live webinar on Twitch, and you can, he builds his own levels, but he can also help you, as well as other people who are watching his stream. So we can pick up that potion. Uh, so yeah, Adam, thanks a lot. And then we can hit this thing here, and that shuts off that little thing that was giving us trouble with the torch earlier. So now we can go down here. Um, and now that problem you saw where it went black for a second, that's because the torch does not have collision on it, it's going outside the walls. And the light's at the end of the torch, and if it's on the outside of the walls, well, it can't light the inside. I have this very obvious star here, which I wouldn't normally have it there, but you can see these spots on the wall here. And the point of this is that, you know, I want people to be able to kind of wander around and, and really explore, not just run through everything like you do in other games. If you run through it, you're going to miss it. So now we have to hold on. we got this guy to deal with. So I'm going to... There we go. We killed him. Which brings me to another thing. Uh, I couldn't use the ragdoll system in here. Uh, because the one downside with the iClone uh, character creator models is that their bone system is very complicated. And Ragdoll doesn't like it. So I'd have to take time to clean it up, and I just didn't want to do that. Um, it's possible. It's not a huge nightmare. But uh, I just loaded some uh, motion cap animation on them and just called it a day. Anyway, so we go over here. We have an audio cue. If you're not looking at it, you can hear something's happening. So there's an obvious pattern here, so we have to remember that pattern and go find that puzzle thing so in the beginning and apply that. So, you know, I also didn't, the lighting is horrible, I didn't waste time with that. Just, there's not much in here, though. Another thing I didn't spend a lot of time with is particle systems. This, you know, <laughs> that particle system is, uh, well, whatever. It's kind of schlocky, but whatever. It's what it is. I to put something there. So now we can uh, try and interact with this, light them up in the same order that we saw them. Skeleton. Um, obviously, he's dead, but uh, his eyes are lit up. I should have fixed that, but details, details. And because we have the potion, we can wake him up. And uh, he's going to do a little jig for us. 
So, ow. In short, my getting attacked from behind me. And I will just be powered. Oh, two of them. Ow. Come on. There you go. Dead. Um, in, you know, my 30 days with Unreal was unreal, to say the least. Um, it was a challenge. Uh, I, very rewarding. And if anybody is considering Unreal, uh, I highly recommend it. I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. Um, the community is fantastic. You're going to run into problems. Uh, people are there to help you. The tutorials are from Unreal are great, and the ones from the fans or the users are excellent. Um, so, you know, I went from nothing to this. And, uh, you know, I'll keep tweaking it, but I'm interested in getting on and really exploring its rendering capabilities. So, I'll look at it, and uh, I hope this has been helpful or moderately entertaining, maybe. Probably not. But, uh, I'll put in the post below the uh, below the video. I'll put in some places where I got some good help, some good information. So if you're getting started, you can take a look at, at those. Anyway, that's all for now. <laughs>